In this example, we want to find the second derivative of x squared minus y squared equals to 16. Okay, so first, obviously we need to find the first derivative first, and then once we have that, then we can find the second derivative. Okay, so we're gonna use implicit differentiation here. Okay, so we're gonna take the derivative with respect to x of x squared, and we have minus the derivative of y squared, and then we have the derivative of 16. Okay, so again, we're taking the derivative with respect to x, and, okay? And so we're gonna get from here, we're gonna get 2x minus, okay, 2y, again, using the power rule. And since we're taking the derivative with respect to x, we're gonna have 2y times dy dx, okay, equals to zero. Okay, so from here, uh, we can go ahead and divide everything by two to simplify this. So we're gonna have x minus y times dy dx equals to zero, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and solve for dy dx, okay? Okay, so we're gonna get minus y times dy dx equals to minus x. Okay, this is the same as dy dx equals to x over y. So just canceling out the negative signs. Okay, so that is the uh, first derivative, okay, right, for our function. Okay, and in fact, we can, um, we can take take this a step further um, by replacing y with the original function here. Um, but since we're we, since we want to find the second derivative, uh, we'll go ahead and just keep it in this form. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and find the second derivative. Okay. So we're going to get uh, d squared y over dx squared. Okay, so we want to take the derivative okay, of x over y with respect to x. Okay, so here we need to use okay, we need to use the quotient rule for derivatives. Okay. All right, so we're gonna get, uh, so we have, this is gonna be equal to, okay, so we're gonna have uh, d, okay, so the derivative of x times y minus the derivative of y with respect to x times x. Okay, so uh, recalling the quotient rule, we have the derivative of the numerator, times the denominator minus the derivative of the denominator times the numerator. And all that is gonna be divided by the denominator squared. Okay, so this is going to give us, uh, so we have the derivative of x, which is one, so we're gonna get y minus dy dx times x, all divided by y squared. Okay, so what we're, what we're gonna do here, okay, um, since we want, to, um, we want to find the second order derivative, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take right, this, okay, that was dy dx, and then substitute into here, okay. All right. Okay, so doing that we have, okay, this is gonna be y minus x over y, okay, that was our first derivative, and then times x, all divided by y squared, okay. So we have y minus x squared over y, all this is divided by y squared. Okay, so we can go ahead and simplify this uh, by multiplying uh, the 
top and bottom by y. Okay, so this this is just an algebraic technique where we can clear out the uh, we can simplify this uh, this compound fraction or sometimes they call this a complex fraction. Okay, so this is going to be equal to so we have y squared, okay, minus x squared because we're going to get y so y over y is one. And then divided by y cubed. Okay, so now going back to original function. Okay, we see that uh, we had x squared minus y squared equals to 16. So we can use this uh, to further simplify our result. Okay, so this is the same as negative x squared plus y squared equals to minus 16. So just multiply through by negative. And then uh, we notice that this is just y squared minus x squared equals to negative 16. Okay, so we can replace the numerator with negative 16 because we have y squared minus x squared. So this is going to give us minus 16 over y cubed. Okay. So we have our result here, okay? So that is the second order derivative of our, of our uh, for our expression, okay? All right, so we, we took the derivative of each term, solve for dy dx, and then we have to use the um, quotient rule uh, to find the second order derivative, okay? And then we take that uh, we took the first derivative, plug it into into our uh, into the uh, result that we got for the second order derivative, and then simplify it. And then using the given expression, we can solve for uh, we can replace the numerator with negative sixteen. Okay.